welcome everyone to Cypher Hunt. My name is Yuri Lavor, and today we're going to be talking about ICOs. In this video, I'd like to share with you all uh, what is an ICO, uh, ICO scams and red flags to watch out for, some tools that you can use to invest and strategize how to invest in an ICO, how to actually buy the token, and what to do, so essentially the follow-up. Okay. I would also like to share with you guys that all of this information here is my opinion only and not a financial advice. So let's just jump into it. Uh, what is an ICO? ICO is an initial coin offering. I think about it like as far as a startup, right? They have a team and they have a vision and now they need the capital to make that vision come through. So what the companies do is they raise capital by selling tokens. Now, typically... Uh, the pro uh, the pros here are that when you are buying these tokens they are on sale right so you can get it at the low price or the lowest possible price you can get token rewards for it right um, and it's all before it hits on the exchange so when it hits on the exchange you're going to be already so much ahead right and then you can later on buy more but just initially already you get an incentive whether it is 10, 15, or 20% off before it gets on the exchange. Now, what are the cons here? So the cons are that it's highly risky. There are over 10 new ICOs each day coming out, um, and a lot of them are pumps and dumps, and unfortunately, a lot of them are scams. So what is a pump and dump is basically when the team or this company, right, they get the money, well, they already have the money now, right? So why would they continue and doing all the work where they just can take the money for whatever they received and go, right? Um, and there's lots of scams. And sometimes it's very difficult to see what is a, what is a scam or not because they're, they're getting so good, right? So what I've designed here is basically some of the things that can help you um, seek out the scams and you can point out the red flags. So the first thing is the vague white paper. So the vague white paper, the way that you can judge it is by seeing that they only show you the problem, right? And they kind of show you the steps, but they don't really show you the solution. They don't give you a, a statement right away on how they're going to fix the problem. Right. Also, the anonymous teams. So if you look at the team profile and every every uh, ICO should already have a team on it. If they don't, that's a huge problem. But if they do, right, what you want to do is you want to click on their team members and research a little bit where they come from, what experience they have, if they have a superstar um, on the team, if they work somewhere else, what connect, uh, connections that superstar has. Right. And and and. And it ties into the community. So is the community, do they see um, the vision behind it? If there's no community, if you, know, you go to uh, Twitter and people bash on it, then maybe it's not a good ICO. Also, if there is no GitHub activity. Now, GitHub is a little bit hard to see right away. Um, some of the ICOs have it, but if you go to some of the ICO websites like ICO Alert, they, they don't have the GitHub activity. So it's hard to see, but you can absolutely research more. Uh, over hyped marketing as well. So if they're just screaming and telling that this is going to be the next Bitcoin, well, you know, they have a lot to prove to, for it to be the next Bitcoin. And the easiest thing to spot on is going to be the SSL certification link. So when you go to their website, you're able to see it. Now, one of the most popular sites that people go to to research ICOs is ICO Alert. And um, to be fair, again, this is my uh, opinion only, not a financial advice. And I'm just going to talk about this ICO as an example of what are some flaws and hopefully improvements that this uh, company can do. Okay. So first thing that I saw here was, um, I, I go to their pre-sale and what you can do is you can click on their, join their pre-sale and you can see that they're asking for minimum of 10,000. Okay. And then they want all of your information here, your, your, your driver license, right? Um, your utility bill. So not only that they're asking for a ridiculous amount of money, 10,000 in my opinion is very high for an ICO. Also, they want all of your information here. So basically it's probably not on an Ethereum 
uh, Ethereum network, I can tell you that from the start. Um, so this could be a big alert for you right away. They're asking for a lot of money, right? And uh, they're asking for information uh, uh, right away as well. Uh, well, their white paper, okay, so their white paper is pretty vague as well. So when you can look at this first page, they pretty much point out, um, you know, the, 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 the figures two to four billion per year. Okay, so how do you solve it, right? Where is the solution, right? So as I was reading through this, I really did not, this is a legal dis disclaimer, by the way, it, it has nothing to do with what they're doing. So basically right here, right? Introduction, right? It really doesn't show me how they're solving this problem, right? Um, they're trying to build and transform and utility. It's just, it, they're throwing a lot of words at you, but it, it's pretty big, okay? Um, also, the next thing that I want to show you guys is what I found out about their team. And it looks like they have three people on their team. Um, and they're all, two of them are in Atlanta and one of them is in New York. They all worked for this AD3 media uh, company. And I guess now they're starting their, um, their uh, ICO. And it's just, I mean, this, this guys, are, they're not developers. I, I don't see who's gonna develop the code here, right? So there's three guys, they're business guys, finance guys, and you know, uh, I'm sure they, they know lots about finance, but who's actually going to develop the uh, the code here? So I don't see it. All right. Another thing that you can take a look at is um, their token distribution. Um, I like this to be 50% for sometimes 49% just kind of threw me off when I was looking at it. So they're going to have the 49% on, on the token sale. And then this team, right? Three guys going to keep the 30 Developers, we don't know who they are. Advertisement, also don't know who they are. And they're going to keep another 15% as their reserve. All right. Um, another thing that I found out about their, their ICO is I went to their Twitter. Um, and, and the funny thing on their Twitter is, so they're saying how we're going to use this blockchain to fix 224. Again, this number pops up, right? And if you look at the comments, always read the comments, you guys. I mean, you can find out that the community, right? They're they're not super excited about it. There's not a lot of people that's screaming that, yeah, I want to invest in this. In fact, out of all these guys, I only saw this one. Well, two people, this guy said good, but what what's good, right? So only this guy and his name, right, um, said that this, this is a huge project that that people should invest in. So there you go. There's a couple of examples here about an, an ICO that needs a lot of work. So, I mean, I, I hope they succeed, you know, and people don't waste their money. But to me, this, honestly, this looks like uh, a pump and dump. Okay. All right. So let's get into something that we can actually invest money in. So what I did is I invested myself into uh, Bloom. I found their ICO to be a revolutionary. I really like their white paper um, and I'll show you guys. I think they have an excellent team. Their community is growing bigger and bigger. I do think they can do what they said as far as on the roadmap. And I also believe that there is a lot of adoption. So when you are investing in an ICO, what you wanna do is you wanna take a look at this five criteria and you want to make sure that they meet all of the five, right? So they have the great vision, they have the team to do it, the people behind this vision, right? They have the execution roadmap and what you can do is you can follow the roadmap and you can follow their blog and you can see if they're executing on, on, on what they say, right? And if it's gonna get adopted and they're gonna build a bunch of partnerships, right? So. What I do is I use this uh, uh, website here, ICO Drops. Um, it shows you much more information that that ICO Alert did. In fact, it shows you the um, active, the upcoming, and the ended ICOs, right? And this site will have all of the things that you need to research about it. So for example, if you go to Bloom, which was an ICO before, um, you can see they have the video, 
right? You have the website, you have the white paper. They show their total tokens, right? How much is going to be sold? Where is it, right? So United States, right? How many people are on the team? And they'll even show you the risk rate here, right? So which is which is pretty nice, all right? Um, they'll also show, of course, the, the snapshots of everything. All right, so let's take a look at their website first. Uh, by the way, I got to tell you, out of all the websites that I've researched, I just want to say that the design of this website is very easy on the eyes. And I, I, I think that's what sold me at first was just a beautiful website, okay, that it was easy for me to see. So I just want to give a shout out to uh, Gr Grifflin. Um, I, I think you did a fantastic job and uh, it's just, it's just, to me, it looks perfect. Okay. All right. So what is Bloom? All right. So Bloom is what they want to do is they want to give a solution to credit, right? So when you think about a bank, right, the, 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 the way that you put the money in the bank when you open up an account, right, or savings, that, that's all easy, right? Because usually every bank would like to take your money. Now, the biggest problem in, in, in the world is not to put your money in the bank, is to take your money out or to lend the money. So basically credit, right? So what they're trying to do is they're trying to solve the credit scoring um, that we have currently, right? So think about a, a FICO score, right? So in US, we use a, 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 a FICO score that whatever your score is and your credit history, right? You go to a bank, you apply for the loan and they'll give you a basic interest rate based on your score and based on your credit history. Well, what about if you go to another country, right? Let's go, let's say you go to Germany or Japan, right? And let's say, you know, you're, you're over 40, 50 years old, you have established life already and you just happen to go to another country but now, since you don't have any credit in that country and you score, you now have to start everything over, right? So there must be a better way, right? So what Bloom does is they solve this by using um, a criteria where you can refer your friends, family, and you know acquaintances, people let's say you, you rent from, um, they can give uh, their vision on, on how well you did, right? And Blue will take all of those factors and generate a, a global score for you. So, for example, you would have a FICO score in the entire world, right? It's borderless. So you can go to any country and you can essentially get loan or line of credit based on Bloom's score. Okay? So this is a huge problem right now in the world where people just don't have enough credit score or then they don't have a score at all and they cannot get uh, credit. They cannot borrow money from the bank. Okay, so that's the vision to solve this problem. Now, if we go to the white paper, and I do recommend every time you uh, you invest in ICO, you want to read the whole thing. I know it's some papers are like 48, but this one is not too long. So take your time, read it. Uh, what you want to do is you want to take a look at the roadmap um, and you want to see what they want to do uh, as far as um, this year, right? So I think the roadmap was on page 13. Okay, so basically as of today, they're working on this, right? So phase one, allowing um, users here. So and then phase two, phase three, phase four. And what you can do is if you go to back to this, um, the ICO drops, you can click on their um, blog or and time, I'm sorry, their bloom time and deadlines, right? So and you can kind of compare the two. Uh, by the way, uh, I just want to say that I, I, I also recommend reach out to the team. Um, you can talk to them. There are people, you guys. So if you reach out to them and just, you know, spend, a, you know, maybe an email or two emails or even talk to them on Skype or in Telegram group, you can find out so much more. You can see the people behind the project. So I was, uh, you know, fortunate enough to talk to Sharon Wu and I learned a lot that, the team is hiring, they are developing, it is in the, you know, Silicon Valley, United States, they are um, 
moving closer and closer to finishing all of their tasks and uh, and what's nice about it is they're actually ahead of schedule on some of the things that they want to do right so you can use this their blog right compared to their white paper to see how good they're doing on their roadmap okay next thing what you want to do is you want to take a look at their team let me just get to their let's see here where we at all right so i'll just go to this website real quick all right so what you can do is you can take a look at the team and see what people are behind it right so what we have is <laughs> the, the three finance guys no. so we have our um, four developers all right all of them went to stanford uh that's i'm pretty sure that's how they you know came up with a project so all of these four guys they're basically um stanford graduates and they are uh, developers okay here is your marketing manager right so she's going to be um pretty much doing all the blocks that's what i saw her do a lot on the websites um you have the finance guy here right so he's your chief finance officer more developers more advisors so i i like it you guys it's already 12 people and they're growing more so i think they definitely have a lot of potential here and of course you want to take a look at their partnerships now what i saw what i really liked was they do um, partner with everex um, and everex is another ico right so what they're doing is they're a lending platform so you can see how much how together if they work you know well together then they can essentially help each other grow and accomplish their goal much quicker right so everex might have already banks um, planned that they're going to use so they could partner up with bloom and so on and so forth right um so definitely take a look at their partnerships and their team okay uh, another thing so we talked about their community so you can use their blog right for their community and the roadmap we went over so you can compare their blog with the roadmap and then you can see the uh, adoption and the the partnership so now that you're excited about the token let's see how you can buy it so first thing that i do is i go to the token overview just to see how much it will cost me to invest here right so it's uh, one uh, bloom for one dollar and 16 cents you would have to use ethereum to buy it and a lot of the new icos you you would have to use the ethereum their risk assessment is pretty much high normal normal um, remember the higher the risk the higher the reward um, but of course you know nothing is guaranteed you do your own research and you can calculate your own risk analysis and see how much money you want to put in but let's say you're set and you want to put in an amount uh, uh, that is good for you you would go to gdex and you would use um, your fiat money to buy the ethereum right um, and then you would send the ethereum to your uh, ether wallet and you would use uh, the ICO address to enter into the uh, my Ethereum wallet to actually send them the Ethereum. And what the ICO will do is they'll, they'll send you the tokens to your Ethereum wallet. And you'll keep them there until the sale is over. Um, and when the ICO actually becomes a cryptocurrency, right, and gets on the exchange, then you can use your tokens from your uh, ethereum wallet you can transfer them to the exchange that they're going to be listed on for example bloom has finished uh, its ico and what they did is they have now on four exchanges are available here to purchase um, i myself use cuckoo and binance so i am waiting uh, for it to hit those exchanges or at least bitrix right uh, but if you're you're super excited about um, a, 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 a cryptocurrency and you want to get into it right now, then if you go to the markets, you can see where they're available to purchase. Okay. Now, once you actually have the tokens and they are now um, on on uh, as a cryptocurrency, they are on Coin Market Cap, and everyone can see it. So what I do is I follow their blog or I join their Twitter. Uh, I, I look. For their news I, I try to join every telegram group there is about that ico or the cryptocurrency and i also look at the github activity so it's very easy if you go to coin market cap and you click on the source code it'll come up with the github and it'll show you all the updates that are currently um, uh, they performing 
on 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 their code right um, so you can see how active they are um, you can also do of course the technical analysis to see if you're gonna have any type of dips so for example right now bloom hit 81 cent right from the initial time as they opened it was two dollars and fifteen so it's a great entry point um, you can you know double down and uh, uh, I would say with every ICO that I invest, I give it at least six months uh, to see how well they perform before selling it off. So it's kind of the, the mark for me. Um, six months, it's, it should, you know, it should at least go double, right? So we all hope that it's going to go to the moon, but obviously, you know, this is crypto world, so you never know. So here again, with technical analysis, you can buy the dips right um and try to think about it as at least six months investment all right so that's it for the video you guys i hope you liked it um please subscribe uh, please share my video i will do more the next one is going to be about the technical analysis and established cryptocurrencies thank you all for watching and i'll see you soon